your KRCG 13 storm vision forecast with Zach Paul. We'll find a partly cloudy sky across the area this evening. Mild temperatures will stay in the 70s here. But we'll find a slight chance for a few areas, especially north of Highway 50, picking up a uh, stray shower, maybe a rumble of thunder going through, oh, say, 2 o'clock or in, in the morning. Otherwise, for the most part, you can expect a dry evening around here. The higher rain chances are really even north of I-70, upwards of around the Keatsville, Salisbury, Moberly areas. We do have a cloud cover that's in place. A few areas of some light rain moved through earlier, but some more showers and thunderstorms moving out of Kansas towards St. Joseph. Those will continue to drift across to the north and east. And in north central Missouri really has a chance for some of that rain. And I really think the highest likelihood is going to be north of US-24 here, north of uh, which runs through Moberly over towards Keysville and Salisbury. And areas to the north but we might find a couple of those isolated showers that drop south of there to about 50 highway or so otherwise looking for a dry night around here we are in the 80s for the most part a little cooler to the north vandalia right now 86 degrees boonville 82 souls versailles dixon and lynn fulton right now you're checking in at 80 degrees here is a live look over the city of columbia the mizzou campus on our heart of missouri chevy dealers camera you can see some filtered sunshine a few clouds here and there otherwise a pretty gorgeous afternoon it's 80 degrees here in columbia south southwest winds at 12 miles per hour in our dew point right now at 61 degrees and if you've been outside over the weekend or even today Today, you can feel there's just a little bit of mugginess in the air and that usually happens when we start to find those dew points when they get a little higher than 60 degrees. Here's the setup. Here's what we've got across the region right now. We've got cloud cover stretching from the Ohio Valley across Illinois, northern Missouri, back through Nebraska and Kansas. That boundary a stationary boundary. That's going to be that focusing mechanism for showers and thunderstorms, not only for tonight, but for the next couple of days as it stalls. These showers across east northeast Kansas will continue to drift across extreme north central Missouri, riding along this boundary. And this boundary will fluctuate north and south over the next couple of days. But overall, it is going to start lifting a little bit more to the north, which is going to keep our rain chances, at least here in mid Missouri, on the lower side later tonight and through the day on Tuesday. So I think we'll find a dry sky when you wake up on Tuesday morning. Wind still out of the south. But as long as we've got this boundary nearby, within a couple hundred miles north and south of that line, we're going to find a chance for some rain. Then once again, tomorrow afternoon, I think we'll find a couple areas that may pick up a rumble of thunder or a stray shower. No severe weather anticipated, but would not be surprised if a couple areas had some of that. Once sunset happens, those rain showers will begin to diminish and we'll find dry skies again late Tuesday night into your Wednesday morning. A few scattered clouds on Wednesday, but I think our rain chances begin to increase by the time Wednesday afternoon and evening roll around as we start to see a second piece of this system rolling in from the west. And later this week is when we're really going to start to find the higher chances for some rain. So in the meantime, tonight, not a whole lot to worry about. Same thing for your Tuesday, but those rain chances will begin uh, to increase once again towards the end of the week. Some strong, possibly severe storms are going to be possible in the area that's highlighted tonight. Again, that's for those areas around Moberly over towards Keatsville and Salisbury. So here's the forecast for tomorrow morning. 62 degrees up to 83 and mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky tomorrow. Again, afternoon chances for a rumble of thunder. Same thing for your Wednesday. A few more clouds, a 30% chance for rain there. And then really Thursday, Friday and Saturday as the backside of that system rolls in, that's when we're going to start to find those higher chances for some rain. So not a whole lot to worry about in the short term. But if you do have weekend plans, graduations are coming up. Of course, that's Mother's Day weekend. Maybe you're planning a picnic or a barbecue. Yeah. You definitely want to keep an eye to the sky on what's happening as there will be some rain really in the area between Thursday and Sunday afternoon. Okay, just keep the rain boots handy. Yes. All right, thanks, Zach.